Hi, I'm Andrew, an entrepreneur and a computer science student. Hi, I'm Raveen, a psychology major student. And you're now listening to the Ink Thoughts podcast, where we ponder and talk about incongruous thoughts ranging from our daily life to the human mind. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ink Thoughts podcast. How's your week, Vereen? But actually, it's it's been more than a week because like we didn't record last week. <laughs> so yes, how was how how's how's your time after the the last podcast episode? Um, actually, like last week, I I, I don't really rem- I can't really remember much about last week. But for this week, I'm actually quite tired for my for my work. But yeah, yesterday, um. Finally, I got to go for aerial yoga class again. Yeah, it feels good after so long. But I'm not sure is it because I've not been practicing it for like so long. So when I did it yesterday, I actually uh feel like vomiting after that. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. So that was your reason that you felt like vomiting. Okay, I was wondering like, did you get food poisoning or something? Like, why did you want to do? Why, why did you feel like vomiting? Okay, okay. Okay, that clarifies it. Mm, but but it takes quite, I mean, at least two, one to two hours for me to feel good again. <laughs> yeah, and, and I can't think of any ways to help myself with that, that feeling, you know. There's nothing for me to vomit, but the feeling of vomiting. <laughs> yeah, other than that, mm, yeah, we are celebrating my father's birthday today. So, yeah, I've spent, or I mean, at least... Three hour, three to four hours today to make a cake for him. Yeah. So right. physically, I'm quite tired now, but but I'm still okay. <laughs> All right. Thank How you. about you? That's How's good, your week? Um, I mean, uh, last week actually, including last week all the way to today. Okay, so. The reason last week we didn't have a podcast recording is because I I went for a race, a race actually in Manchester. So it was actually a, a tree cam relay race. So it's a brand new experience for me. So it's actually really cool, like uh, being able to join it. So uh, I mean, I have joined races, but those are like 21K or like 10K marathons, all that, not really like races between universities and all that. So this is a brand new experience for me. And Yep, it's quite nice, but uh, it, it was really tiring, not because of the run, but because of the fact that you have to, we have to travel to Manchester, and then it takes like two hours, it's like a two hours bus trip there, and then we just ran for like 15 minutes, like less than 15 minutes, and then after that we have to take like a, an, 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 another two hour bus back here, so yeah, that's like a really tiring part, yeah. Mm-hmm. Other than that, it's actually pretty fine. Uh, uh, I mean like another sad part is that even though we went to Manchester, we didn't really see anything in Manchester because like it's it's kind of like the outskirts of Manchester. So it was just like a field. We just had our activity there, and then that's it. Like literally, that's it. Then we oh. just took the bus back. So yeah, I oh, we, we just we just we just saw like the Manchester signs, like saying that oh like drive along this road, you're gonna go into Manchester. Like that's like twenty km's away, something like that. Yeah, and that's that's it. Like literally, that's it. <laughs> But yes, other than that, I mean, last week was Halloween as well. I did join one Halloween event. I mean, it's it's quite a big thing here. I, I didn't really go out on on the day day of Halloween itself. They, uh, my, my friend did tell me that, like, they, like, on the street, everyone is actually dressed up. So you will be the odd one out if you are not dressed up. So uh, I actually didn't go out. So I kind of regretted that. But yeah, next year onwards, I should really be prepared for that. So what I did was I joined another university event, was that, which was like, I think four days earlier t- than Mm-mm. Halloween. Yeah, I joined that, went to the club, went to the club. Yeah, quite a nice experience, but probably not something for me. I mean, the the, the experience at the club is nice, but then it it doesn't fit my 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 daily routine, Mm-mm. like because I I wake up early and stuff. Unless I I I have that day, uh cleared so the next day is like cleared up where i can just like chill for the 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 the, at least like the first half of the day or something then yeah i think it's fine that i can go to a club or something so it's not something i'll go that often Mm -hmm. yeah but other than that i mean like it's been a bit busier uh yeah like like this week man like i mean 
I I planned for something else before before uh before I remembered that I we have this podcast. So I was like, oh shit. And then I I think yeah, we'll just complete this podcast first. Be- before I head on to like lectures and some assignments as well, because we actually have one assignment due next week, so, oh, so yeah, fast. like yeah, it's getting really busy now. Yes, I mean like it's been quite a quite a few like five weeks already. So mm. yeah, I guess it's kind of expected. Just that like just time flies and all that lah. That's that's oh yeah, I I mean yeah, even next week next week I'll just say it yeah even though it's it's supposed to be like our 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 like back behind the scene conversation but then like i think next week we'll we i can't i can't record a podcast on saturday as well so we may have to like just mm-hmm. adjust another time because i'm going for another race mm-hmm. yeah but this one should be better because it's just a one hour bus ride and then it's a 10km race so i i think it, it'll be it'll be better yeah oh <laughs> yeah where, where, where are you going for the race um let me see actually i i i am actually I, I forgot the place it's not a popular place like manchester mm. so give me a second oh catering catering yeah it's catering i think it's north uh where is it where is it let me see let me see let's uh, let's hope that <laughs> go map loads it out give me a while okay Oh, oh, actually, it's quite far as well. Well, not as far as, like, Manchester. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, like, kind of... How do I say it? It's, like, south... South... South? Southeast. Yeah, southeast of, of Nottingham. Southeast Mm-mm. of La- uh, Leicester as well. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's some somewhere I've never been there. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, so... But I mean, like, actually now, or suddenly we just went into, like, podcast, podcast discussion. Actually, now we're kind of on track. Like, this episode is due for, like, 4th of December. So we have, like, three more episodes to end this year. And then, like, the, the I think the final episode of the year will be will be the Ink Thoughts 2021 review. So I think it should be fine. Mm-hmm. We'll just see how to manage it. Yeah. Then maybe a year end when there's, like, longer holiday, then we'll, like, we'll, like, push up a bunch of episodes, all that. Yeah. Suddenly, we just got got into this discussion, but yeah. Um. Okay. So, what are we actually talking about today? Okay. So, so today we are going to talk all about our dreams and ambitions. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Okay. So, uh, yeah, because like this, this is actually a very open topic. Like, there's mm-hmm. no limit to yeah. what what you can say. But I, I think, I think we should, we should, we should, we should brought, uh, we should separate it into three subsections. Mm. So. The three subsections are first, uh, dreams and ambition, which are directly achievable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, directly achievable. So something that you can kind of it's like it's like quite within reach. And then the second one is something that I would say like it's it's semi within reach. So uh, there is some factor that that's avoid avoiding you to 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 get hold of that dreams or ambition, but then. You already have another half sorted out, so like it's it's like fifty fifty ish, and okay. then the final one is just like a literal dream dream, like it's it's quite far off, but then like it's just something that 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 you you wish to happen, okay? Mm, okay, sure. Yeah, okay. Let's let's just start with the first one. So so let's start with the first one. What's your like? What are the What are the things that you dream of? But uh, but it's actually quite achievable right now. Just that you haven't got into doing it um, something I, you want to do but yeah you haven't gone to doing it is that still dream i think yeah no, I, think I think it's still right. dream yeah yeah. yeah just that you 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 you, you haven't taken action into it Mm-mm. yeah mm. Mm. wait if let's say Okay, never mind. I think I think for this uh, uh, I think it should be my dream of becoming a psychologist. Mm. Mm. Because um, I'm not being specific about which kind of psychologist 
here because there's still a lot of options out there, which is also one of the reasons that I have not been taking any action yet. I'm still like exploring, but but after after I started working, I kind of know which pathway I would prefer going to going into. So yeah, because be, to be to become a psychologist, there's still a very long way to go, and yeah, and some require directly achievable. I think you 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 said it in the wrong wrong subsection. It's not directly achievable right right now. Oh oh okay 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 I I can I think I misunderstand what you say. Directly achievable means I can do it now as long as I want to. Is it? Yeah 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 absolutely. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, maybe you can share your one first. Let me think about it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let 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 me just share it first. So, yeah. Um. I mean, like dreams that are directly achievable, dreams and ambitions. There's um. Okay. So uh. Few things. Few things actually. Um. I mean. Ah, oh, where should I start first? Ah. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's things where I'm just not sure if they are dreams and stuff. I mean, yes, I can actually say that. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, one one of them is actually because, um, recently, recently, I I I I just got to know this place called Britain, Britain in 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 the UK. It's actually, I think, the southern part of the UK, and there's a beach there. Yeah, so I think it's quite a nice place during the summer because like there's a beach, you know. I think probably you can serve there. I'm not not that sure, but then I got to know this from my friend, and apparently Britain is a place which is quite, you know, they are quite open to things, and then they are. They 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 promote, uh, LGBT quite a lot there. That's mm-hmm. why like they are quite open to things. They 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 don't really judge people and all that. So, and. The one thing that really attracted me is when my friend, because my friend is actually Vietnamese, and she told me that uh, it she she actually studied, I think college, I think yeah, she 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 had her college there, and then she, over there she said that was a monument monumental part of her life because it made her a lot more sociable, more open to things, yeah, because. Over there, when that whatever you do, well, according to her, whatever you do and all that, you don't really get judged and all that. So, it's like a real. She, it it made her grow into a different person. So, just this statement made me very interested of that place, and I I I, I don't know, man. I I just wanted want to visit that that place, and just. Uh, I just want to visit that place and just see how it is, and I don't know, maybe like because I'm actually graduating next year. If that's a possibility, like I'm, I'm thinking like, why not? Like just maybe like have a it's like stay there for a month or something. Like just ex, just like explore the life there, enjoy the life there, see how it is over there, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I like because this is something that that definitely is like achievable. Like going there is like achievable. Just that, uh, yeah. Because I don't want to sacrifice my other stuff for it. So mm-hmm. I don't want to sacrifice like my studies, like all, all the other stuff that I'm doing. That's why, of course, I'm not doing now, which I'm I'm pl- planning it on to, and to do it like next year. But yes, another thing. Uh, oh my god! Like now, I just okay. Now I, I'm just getting to travel, travel stuff since I've started. Another thing is actually like recently. Oh my god, it's so funny, man. So I I have another friend uh here, which is Malaysian as well. She's an exchange student at University of Nottingham. So she she talked about uh. I have no idea how she got got into this topic about uh, Mount Kota Kinabalu with 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 what our friend. I have no idea how, and then yeah, and 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 then yeah, she, she, apparently she didn't really know know what's the name of that mountain, and then she had to ask me. So it it was like really funny, and <laughs> I was like, well, how 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 did you not know the the the, the tall, tall, tallest mountain in? Uh, in Malaysia, like like how can you how can you not know that? And then yeah, we talked about it, and then and then I I talked about how I cause I mean it's been a dream to for me to just like climb that mountain, Mm-mm-mm. and then originally I I I I had a plan to do it where I don't oh, know not when I mean like in twenty twenty, but then 
um, because first thing, it's actually it's actually not COVID, you know. It's actually because there's like a quota or something, and I just couldn't, I just couldn't. I mean, like they 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 just didn't allocate the space for my group, and then I just couldn't go. And then after that was COVID, so I guess quite fortunate, something like that. I don't know, but but yeah, like yeah, that that's one thing I really want to do because like yeah, it's it's like the. The, the, the tallest mountain in, in Malaysia and then I just want to conquer that like it's it's a really nice place I want to do yeah but now that I I don't know I mean I can't do that now I mean this okay this is a bit hard because like this the quota thing but it's like still something that's quite achievable but then now that I'm in the UK there's like no exact timeline where I'm where when I'll be doing this but I'm gonna do it one day just like another thing which is travel again like I, I, I really wanted to travel. I think I talked about this in previous episode, but I'm just going to talk about it again. So like, I'm just going to have a, a, a trip around Peninsula Malaysia. I'm just going to drive mm. across all states of Peninsula Malaysia. And then, I don't know, probably take a month or two enjoying like each, like spending like a few days at each state I don't know, potentially even inviting my friends, like, so if they want to come, like, just drop, drop off, like, take a plane yeah. or something, come over here, and then, yeah, like, 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 just chill and hang out, because I think that's quite a nice, nice thing to do, like, yeah, I, I, I really want to explore, some, some parts, I really want to explore their roads, some, pl- some parts, it's just that I've never been there, so, yeah, I, I, I wanted to do this, yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, we think of it as quite expensive but it's not really that expensive and another thing is that we think because we don't want to spend the money because we're thinking like oh maybe we're going to save the money when invest the money but then yeah in fact if we if we don't think about that if we just spend our money we can absolutely do this just that we don't don't want to because we have bigger goals or something so yeah like this is actually very achievable just that i'm sad that I mean, I, I did have the thought of, like, doing this before I, I, I'm here in the UK. But then, yeah, that's the lockdown thing. Yeah. And then now, now I have no idea what, when I'm going to do this. But then, oh, the, yeah, that's, that's the Club Med trip as well. I really want to go on yeah. the Club Med trip with, <laughs> with, with my friends. Like, oh, my God. Because I, I kind of actually, mainly because of the, like, free flow alcohol. Yeah. Drinking alcohol is not bad. Please drink responsibly. But yeah, I just want to have a good time with my friends, and that because like climate is like all all inclusive, where you don't have to care about the price or anything after you have paid for the for like the three days or four days three nights. So yeah, then everything else is like I think ninety nine percent is included. Then yeah, you can like pretty much just enjoy that, drink, eat, whatever, play. Yeah, like these are the few things I want to do. I mean, yeah, these. These, uh, I guess, three, uh, wait, three of them are in Malaysia. One of them is in UK. Oh, there's another one. This is like the the World Marathon Majors. I would say that this actually lies between like the 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 directly ach- uh, achievable right now and then like 50-50. Because, I mean, it, because it depends. It's There's a quota as well. So mostly depending on ballots. So if I get into it, then I can definitely go for it. Like, it's just a money problem, which I can mm-hmm. do it. So yeah, joining the World Marathon Majors and then getting the medal is like my dream. Yeah, my dream of doing that. Yeah, from, from what you've been like describing, it's, um, all of it sounds very adventurous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, um, I think, I, I mean, like, let me just try to think which one... I mean, the the club met Kota Kinabalu and the World Marathon Majors thing came out earlier, and then the around the trip around Peninsula Malaysia and Britain it literally Britain just came out like weeks ago. Trip around Peninsula Malaysia came out this year. Others are quite early on, but then yeah, I mean, these are the fun stuff that you remember. Something that that I'll say life changing. Yeah, Mm-mm. I consider them life changing. Yeah, or like it's it gives the meaning into your life. That's why, I I I quite I I just want to do them. Yeah, I just want to do them. Mm-mm. Yeah, so I I I'll say this like the the things which are directly achievable now. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, there, there, there are smaller dreams as well, but then I question those. Those are not exactly the dreams which I confirm that I will want it. Like things like getting a fully funded scholarship for like PhD. Mm-hmm. I thought of that. But then it's not entirely a dream because I, I, I gave a deep thought about that. First is that it's not within my control. Second is that I'm not sure if I really want it alive being a PhD student that's fully funded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's it's not something like I, I for sure know that I want to conquer the, the Mount Kinabalu because I, I, I just like like the feeling of conquering. Like for this PhD thing, I just want it because like, yeah, but bro, it's like free. Why Why don't you want it? But then when I think further, like, of course it's free, but then is it, uh, would it be better off if I, if someone have taken this? Yeah, so it's not really something that I want. And then of course it's like totally out of my control. So yeah, I don't really care about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's the thing. Uh, I would just say, yeah, there's like dreams like this. Yeah. I guess like these are the direct achievable dreams now. I guess I'll add on later if I do think of any, but like these are the main few things which I... Oh, oh, that's another one as well, though. Oh, actually, oh yeah, this is actually absolutely directly achievable. Just that I, I didn't want to do it. I mean, I can buy myself a Tesla. Just that, yeah, it will like spend all my savings, which is which is a stupid thing to do. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely own a model, a uh, Tesla Model Three, oh. <laughs> and then I can, I can do that. Like absolutely, like it, but it's just dumb to do that because like you'll be spending, I'll be spending all my savings for that, and then like. Like why do you want like like why do you desperately want want a Tesla model and then like I lose all my investment because I have to like liquidate all my investment and stuff. So yeah, I mean like owning a Tesla is my dream as well. Mm. But it's directly achievable as well. But then no, we're not gonna do that because it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, so, so so basically uh uh yeah. I mean I'm gonna rent one. So for sure I think by next summer or something I'm gonna rent one and then just like drive around. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That mm, these are my dream, I guess. Yeah, these are my dream. Mm. Okay, mm. then. Then I guess I mean, it's, like the directly achievable ones. Yeah, then I guess it's my turn now. Okay. Uh Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um I still remember when I was in like secondary school. Um me and my mm. another two best friends the two girls, yeah, we kind of like say, uh, next time we want to stay together and then something, something, something. Yeah, now that we have all grown up okay. and we are all working, of course we can't afford that. Just that, yeah, we're not doing that yet. Or maybe that's... Like like living together or like, or like staying together like for a trip or something? Living together. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but, wow. but um, now that we have grown up, I, I believe there's more other factors that is making us think twice but then just now i thought of another thing maybe we can change it a, a little bit maybe we choose a maybe a, an airbnb or anything that then we like stay together for a few days but at the same time we are still going like i mean doing the normal thing that we do in life like maybe we go we still go to work yes. just like after work then we go back there yeah yeah spending a few days together it, it sounds very nice as well yeah maybe we can do that yeah let me perhaps after yes absolutely actually yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this. I'm actually it's quite a surprised by idea. this thought. I, I'll, I'll, okay. Let Let me just ask you this <laughs> question. So I believe, like, when if you ask yourself two years ago, you won't, you won't, you won't agree with this idea, right? Or you would never have thought of this idea. <laughs> you mean staying a few days at the Airbnb? And then, and then, like, like, like doing normal things, like still going to work and all that. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. Last time, maybe going out <laughs> right? just, just means, um, yeah, taking a vacation or something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think you you be you you might think like, oh, well, what's the point of this? Yeah. Like, like, why are we still working and then doing that? Yeah, yeah. But, but this is actually a very good idea. Yes, this is absolutely a good. Idea. I mean, like, of course, you uh, uh, many people think that it's not worth it because, like, like the like like why are you paying for Airbnb, which is supposed to be vacation and stuff, and then you're just like staying over, like staying the night. Like, mm. what's the point of mm. that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but but then but then actually it makes sense. Like the the thing is not about, I. Cause the the thing we call uh, we care about is like the the like trying out the life where we like stay together or something like that. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, where just experience working like that. But yeah, that is a really, really good idea. I think you should really do that something. Like you can even do it before before to this year ends or something. Yeah. I mean, provided I, that you guys want to spend the money. I actually, Did you guys I actually think, think of this just like when you're sharing, I I thought of like this dream we had before. And then because recent, mm. recently we also, um I forget which, which of my friend, she mentioned about it like, Last time we used to say we want to stay, uh, live together and anything. But yeah, so this one just popped out in my mind. I should text them after we finish recording. <laughs> yes, yes, just, just, just do that. Like, as long as you have to. I mean, like, it's not that expensive. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, you, and then, and, and, and I think three of you girls, you guys don't mind sleeping on, 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 on one, one bed or like even like one sleeping on the floor or something. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. I think someone just switch around. So it can be a small space or mm. something. Worst come to worst, if there's any argument, you guys just like, okay, la, like, I, you forfeit <laughs> the, the, the amount that you have paid and then just like, like move back home. Like, what's, what, that's, yeah. that's the worst case, right? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, I think that that's quite achievable. Like, one week, I think it's fine. It's mm. not that expensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that's really cool. That's really yeah, cool. Right, oh my God. Right. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is an r- amazing idea. That's an amazing idea, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep on, keep on. You made me excited, man. <laughs> Why are you so excited? I don't know. This is a really fresh idea. I really like it. I really like this fresh idea. It it really makes sense. I mean, like we've been taught taught. Sometimes we just we just see value from a different way. We mm. tr- try to extract the full value from it. But then, like, the thing about value it, is that it differs by person. Like, for you, this the value of this trip isn't about, oh, I, you know, I want to, f- I want to uh, fully utilize whatever the Airbnb have provided mm-hmm. us. But the value here is the experience of three of you staying together. Yeah, yeah the, 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 the Airbnb is just a location that allows you to fulfill that. Yeah, yeah so, yeah. like, I mean... Anywhere you can do that, but yeah, it, it just happens that paying this price would give you that opportunity. So as long as that price uh is worth it for like this this experience where you guys you three of you live together and then like like a normal life, yeah, mm. it's it's actually quite cool. Yeah. You should really do you should like yeah, you should like I don't know make 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 like vlogs about it. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I mean like you, you, you guys are but I think it's a very, very fresh idea that yeah, I've. I don't think I've ever heard anyone doing this. Ooh. I mean, like there's, there's, there's staycation and stuff, but uh, yeah, staycation. But then this one is a next level thing because staycation is like you stay there and then that that that's like work from home. But then now it's different. You're not even staying there. You're just like, yeah, making that a temporary home to experience mm. like the life of three of you together. Mm, yeah, that's a really fresh idea, man. Okay, yeah, yeah. Keep on, keep on. <laughs> I want to hear your dreams, man. <laughs> okay for for those like achievable now mm, for the others I, I can't really think of anything oh okay 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 suddenly I thought of one thing <laughs> okay I used to what is it? I, I used to dream to become a writer when I was in primary school like really oh. a writer but actually for now as long as I want to write, then I can make it happen. Just okay, have a lot of re- uh, reader or not? That's another story. But yeah, yeah, as long as I want to start. I mean, you, you, yeah. Even if I believe you, uh, I believe the money that that you have is like enough to to like publish the book. Mm. Like okay, maybe not like ten tens of thousands of it, but then like maybe a hundred, hundred of them. But then mm. I think it's absolutely possible. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like like yeah, ma- ma- many. Many things opened our mind, I think, in, in, in the past year or something. Yeah. yeah like, like knowing that many things are not as hard as, as it is. It, it, it looks hard because whenever we, we, we found out about something, it's usually the most successful one that gets found out. Mm, true. But then when we just want to do that thing, like we just want to do a bare minimum thing. Like, like let's say when you want to open a restaurant... Like, let's say, okay, you want to open, like, restaurant, like, McDonald's. Oh, my God, it's so cool and all that. Of course, it's hard. It's, like, how many how many years have it, ha- have it been yeah. running? And then, like, how many money have it, have they put in, uh, like, over all these years? But if you want to just start a restaurant, you can even just do it in your house or something, like, like, like four tables, something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe, like, open, like, only, f- only, like, let's say four hours in the evening every 
every Saturday, something and that's like possible as well. Just it depends on whether you want to do it because like that is not your idealized successful restaurant. Mm. But then that is like a minimal viable product. Like, yeah, it is still a restaurant. It just depends on whether you want to do it. You can still do whatever the restaurant have, like cook, cook all that, serving drinks. Like you can even like make make a better atmosphere, like like maybe renovate a bit, make it a a, a restaurant vibe. It, it doesn't have to look like a restaurant because like you can create the impression of your own restaurant, something like that. So mm-hmm. yeah, I think it opened up. Yeah, like literally writing. I mean, writing is one of my dreams. Now that now that you made me think of it, yes, actually that's like that the dream of writing is like directly achievable as well. Just that I mm, I don't think it's like the the goal I'm pursuing right now because I think there's a lot more that I want to do first before I I yeah. do that. So I can do it now, but I think uh I have well one thing is I haven't thought of what I want to write. <laughs> okay, same, same, <laughs> same. That, yeah, another another reason is that. Um, one one potential title which I can write is like literally like my my experience of doing whatever I'm doing now. That's mm. why I've been like I'm, I'm like now we're doing podcasts. Like I'm um, I'm starting my life in the UK. I um uh I'm like doing my YouTube stuff, all this, yeah, and then learning various stuff, something like that. So yeah, mm. that's really cool, mm-hmm. man. Okay, anything else? Mm, no, but but oh. the dream of writing actually actually it makes me uh, like one thing that actually stopped me is the which language to write in. <laughs> oh, I mean any language is fine. Any language yeah, yeah, is fine. yeah. I mean, I I believe in uh, but but the the difference would be that if you do write in Chai, I mean Mandarin. If you do write in Mandarin, you will have to. I mean, I believe there's like all these easy ways to publish a book in China as well. Just that, yeah, you have to explore it mm-hmm. probably. Mm, I mean, like in 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 the Western in in Western, uh, in not not just in Western uh Western countries like even in Malaysia English like publishing in English like that's a very easy thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then I can I think you can do it in less than ten thousand dollars. Yeah, it really yeah. I think so. I I don't think, well, the the book Jan Wong published. I mean, he did publish quite a lot, hundred to two hundred, because you can imagine that one book. Let's say worst case, one book is like, it's like fifty, uh, fifty ringgit, fifty ringgit. So like hundred will be like five thousand, mm. five thousand ringgit, and then, um, okay la, Maybe maybe if you hire, depending on on how many people you want to hire to like fact checking and all that editing, all that, mm-hmm. maybe it rises and then it depends on 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 the quality of your hire as well. Mm-hmm. So, it it depends on that, but then not necessarily. I don't think it's like it. Okay, it may exit ten thousand, but then you can keep it under ten thousand as well. So it kind of depends, la, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Mm. I think I think okay, so, so far that, that that's all I, that I can think for that is achievable dream for me at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now let's go into like semi achievable ones. Do you have any, or or do you still want me to start first? You start first. <laughs> ah, I'm starting again. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sure. Okay. Um. Yeah, semi achievable dream. So semi achievable dream. Um, <laughs> let's go with something simple first. Just I talk about Tesla, but but uh, I mean like my ultimate goal is kind of to own a, <laughs> to own a, a model. Is that actually achievable? I mean a Model X, a Model X. Yeah, yeah, like the the top of the line SUV. For some reason, I never actually thought of their like roadster or something. I think I'm not of a sports car guy. I'm, I'm more of a utility guy. I prefer cars that are more, like useful in in more ways. I mean, Cybertruck, I would like that as well. But then like the the model X just looks quite nice with the Falcon wings and all that. So like that's a semi achievable dream. Cause like, how much does it cost again? Okay, let me just just let me just give it a small search. Uh, okay, let me just give it more small search here. Model X UK. Mm, what's the price? Oh, let's see. What's the cheapest price? I mean, the cheapest one. Oh, okay. The cheapest one is like 
is like hundred hundred thousand pounds, which is yeah, like it, it it doubles it doubles the 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 price of a Model Three. So yeah, that's like not directly achievable because uh, not like I'm 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 significantly poorer. I I I I. I can I can pay for half of it. Maybe I can actually get a loan to buy it, but then, no, I'm, that's just stupid. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, but yeah, uh, so like that's a semi achievable. I mean, like this is just like material stuff. It's just mm-hmm. something to satisfy my my sanity or something. It's it's not that important. Yeah, it's just the cool factor in my life. So I can live without it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, but but actually, 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 one one I think one directly achievable one which I may do within one or two years. Maybe within one year. It's actually I may I, I want to buy a electric car. I mean in the if I'm I'm staying in the UK, I'm gonna get a car, but but I don't wanna get any car. I wanna get an electric car. My first car has to be an electric car. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it'll be, it be so cool if like the the the, the, the first car that I actually own is an electric car, but I know like the first car I own is in Malaysia and then that's like a petrol car. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. <laughs> that's the first car in the UK is like electric car. That's that's actually actually something I want to do. I can do it now, but then I just there's no need for me. It's just that like the cool factor f- uh, for me to do it. But then maybe further down the road, who knows? Maybe I can even get like Tesla Model Three for my first as my first electric car in the UK. Who knows? But but if I'm not getting Tesla Model Three, I'm gonna get another electric car as well. <laughs> This is like such a random topic where we just like talk about our like literally and randomly. But then, yeah, um, okay, <sighs> semi achievable ones, semi achievable ones, semi. I I think I think uh actually getting like getting famous on YouTube is is semi achievable. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it's semi achievable. It's not that far because like I mean, okay, let's not say famous. Let's say successful where I can, like, earn an income or something. I mm. think that's semi-achievable because it's not that far off that, like, it's quite impossible. I just need to put the work in maybe, like, one or two years, something like that. Because, uh, yeah, I've, I've joined the, the Part-Time YouTuber Academy and I think it's, it's, really, it's a really nice course because you just, like, meet all these like-minded people. So, like, all the things they share are really... Um, I don't know, it's like quite positive, optimistic, and then people are asking the questions that you actually have. So you won't feel stupid asking questions because mm-hmm. like literally everyone is at the same stage, something like that. And then, and then yeah, they, they talk about multiple ways where, where, when you're just doing, although it, it's called part-time YouTuber Academy, but then no, you're not just trying to earn an income from YouTube. You They are talking about being uh, uh, having a YouTuber career, but then it includes like, I'm not okay. Okay, maybe they're talking about starting as a YouTuber, but then as you grow, grow beyond that, you actually you have a creator as your career. So you are like content creator as your career. So you create all kinds of content which you can charge money for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So not just not just like not just YouTube, but actually, can you give me a second? I think we'll leave the. The recording running, but I need to go to a toilet. Oh, okay. Okay, just leave it as... <laughs> Give me as a second. Now, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Remember what we talked about. I'm just gonna, gonna come back. <laughs> Alright, that's... So, 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 where were we? So, we talked about... Okay, so... Yeah, I, I sorry. Because I had to go to the toilet. I mean, like, it's a bit different this time. Because uh, we are recording on a Thursday. And then Thursday, my dormitory provides breakfast in the morning and then i get a heavy breakfast if it's provided by my dormitory so that's why i have to go to the toilet normally i don't <laughs> that's the difference yeah <laughs> like because normally we're, we're like doing it on a saturday and a saturday they only provide brunch they don't provide breakfast that's the difference okay back onto the topic so we're still talking about semi-achievable and then i talked about tesla <laughs> what did i talk about what did I talk about? You talk about owning a Tesla Model 3. Wait, sir, hey, give me a second. Uh, oh my god. I hate, I, I hate this problem with Mac, you know. It just suddenly... Yeah, it just suddenly, like, it, it, it decreases the volume to a, 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 a ridiculous amount whenever I, 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 I connect my, my Bluetooth earphones. I have no idea why. It's just a weird problem with Mac right now. I, I've, after I've updated it. 
Yeah, mm. I have no idea why. Uh, okay, but uh, yes, what where where did we end just now? Uh, I think it's like almost the end of your Tesla Model Three story. Is it? Yeah. Pardon? About Tesla Model Three. No, no, it's not Tesla Model. Tesla Model Three is like its first session, man. Oh. We're talking about the second sub subsection now. Oh my god, I no, asked you to remember what we talked but, about. But you mentioned about owning a car also. Oh, electric yeah, car, yeah, electric car, electric Tesla car. Model 3. After that, after that, there was something I know. After that, there was something I talked about too already. Like it's something, something that, that, that that's like semi, uh, semi achievable, but not entirely achievable. Owning an electric car. That's the first one. That's the second one which I talked about. Oh my god, you didn't remember. Never mind. <laughs> I gave you one job and then you didn't do it well. It's fine. Okay, uh, let me just try to think of something else. It's fine. Uh, let me just try to think of something else. But yeah, okay. Me meanwhile, do you have any... Uh, what's, 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 what's yours that's like semi-achievable? Mm, I think... I think maybe like studying abroad. Okay. Mm. Okay, ideally, I, I I wish I can go to like UK, yeah, but but may uh but let's say it's just studying abroad, mm, and I don't maybe I don't have that much of money yet. Yeah, going to maybe another country is fine as well. Yeah, the the thing is that when you're studying abroad is to like experience a different culture, different different things over the country, and so yeah, I think that is still. That I can, I think that's considered semi achievable. Well, do you think it's semi achievable? Why are you asking me? Oh, no, I'm not asking. I, I, I mean, I think that is yeah. Yeah. Then, then, then there is a uh, yeah. That is then. Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. I mean, like bringing you here is like another and another semi achievable semi achievable dream as well. Um, the money problem is solved, just that uh, it's it's more like the reason problem. Like like I I believe we talked about the same thing in in previous episodes as well. It's more like the reason problem where like, uh, you 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 need to have your reason mm. to to be here. So yeah. I don't want to force my reason onto you by just bringing you here. That's yeah. why, like yeah, to to satisfy to satisfy your reason that's a bit hard, but it's it's okay, because, yeah, like. That's uh. Otherwise, there's no point of you coming here. Mm. <laughs> you're not here to be here for me. You here. You you have to be here because you want to be here as well. Mm. Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, another oh, another thing would be like owning a house. But then like it's always been a question for me. Like, should I just like, should I, should I just do I really own, need to own a house? Is like owning a house best idea? That's one thing I'm thinking about. But then like, I think owning a house is not actually that big of a problem for me yeah i don't think that's all i i can i i can actually pay i mean pay for like pay the deposit and then like and then like pay 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 an installment and all that like get a loan pay an installment and all that yeah because another thing which i'm thinking about if even if i'm staying in the uk should i buy a house because i mean there is a different of Cause oh actually like right now it's a monumental part of my not okay not really a monumental part of my life but a moment if I in my life where I experience something new because previously I've always been living in the city I've always been living in KL Kuala Lumpur and then in KL Kuala Lumpur you pretty much have everything there yeah and all kinds of jobs anything you can get it there but now I am going into I think this is considered a third tier city third tier city it's not a second not even a second tier sec I, I believe like, so first tier is like london second tier will be something like manchester uh birmingham i think birmingham is like second tier as well like nottingham is like th third tier city so it's like quite a small uh small city where there's not much happening here so if i were to really find a job or something or even have more opportunity um would i still be staying in nottingham or would i be moving to birmingham or something like that so if I, like, that's why this question came up, like, should I buy a house or should I just, like, rent? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I can't be sure, I, I can't be sure that I'll be committed into this place. And then if I'm not committed into this place, then 
unless I have a lot of disposable income, which I can like just spend on houses and then mm-hmm. like just just pay for it and then like rent it up, make it a business or something. But the the thing is, I don't have that much money. So like if I do buy a house, it 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 will cost cost most of my saving and then most of my salary when I when I'm paying the installment something like that. So. Yeah, this this became a question for me as well. But then, like, own, owning a house is definitely, like, a semi-achievable dream for me as well. Been wanting to own one. It just gives me the, the, the sense of security. But now the new question that came up is that whether should I actually own one since I am in new... Uh, I'm having... um, I'm experiencing this kind of new, new experience in a new country. So, yeah, like, that is a, a question for me. Mm-mm. Yeah, semi-achievable. Mm. Anything else? What else is semi-achievable for, for me? <laughs> mm. Oh, I know what I was talking about. The second point I was talking about was YouTube being successful. On oh YouTube. yeah. <laughs> you didn't. Re- you didn't remember that. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, being successful on YouTube. Oh yeah, because we're talking about content creator and all that. So uh, let me just like expand a little bit, a little bit on that. Because like. I was like, really, I I really wanted to go to a toilet, so I kind of just skipped some parts. But then, like, being a content creator means that you create content on multiple platforms, including, like, creating podcasts, newsletters, like, even, like, classes and all that. So, yeah, like, it's it's quite a cool thing to be, uh, to join this part-time YouTuber academy thing. So, like, yeah, being successful on YouTube is one of my semi-achievable goals. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. What else for me is semi-achievable? Oh, okay. I think maybe to become a psychologist that I mentioned earlier. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, as long as I, I can... Put, as long as I further my study and then get the requirement fulfilled in Malaysia, then yeah, then I can become a psychologist like, at least in Malaysia. Yeah, mm-hmm. just that, just that um, as of now, I, I, I'm still not doing that yet. The first thing is that um, earlier on, I was, I was un, a bit unsure about which, which pathway exactly that I wanted to go into. But now I think I kind of like mm-hmm. decided and yeah, uh, through my work at the moment, I, I know what I want to become. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so now just... Yeah, slowly move into the next step, but now I'm st- I'm just like um gaining more experience. Yeah, sometimes experience is so important when it comes to like dealing with all these problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, like. One thing. One thing. Actually, okay. Yours is like experience. Uh, yeah, that that's mm. a bit different from mine, but uh, like, like one thing that that they talked about in yesterday's uh part time YouTuber academy mm-hmm. class is that many people have this have this fear like they talk about like oh how people perceive them like oh imp- imperfection something like that actually like that like literally quite quite contradicting but then the one one way to conquer fear is just to do to action mm. yeah to, to take action and uh, even even elizabeth said that like initially you're worried about like how your colleague your family will think about your your videos and all that oh how stupid you are like oh my god who you think you think you're a famous guy huh? you, you mm-hmm. think you're, uh, you're so famous that you want to go on youtube something like that but then in fact no like uh you 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 think that many people think about that but then i mean a bit will but just a few mm-hmm. very few and most people don't care about you and then once you have uploaded your first video, it just that that feeling just dies off. That embarrassment, that feeling just dies off because, yeah, <laughs> you, you kind of found out that not, not that that many people care yeah. about you. So like, it's actually okay to just like put it out. Whatever you think, it's just you overthinking. Yeah, mm. something like that. Yeah, <laughs> bit funny. Yeah, I think okay, okay. Never mind. Now, now let's just jump straight into the final section. So, the total unrealistic, stupid dreams that we have or ambitions that we have yes let's just talk about that <laughs> and i think in this section we might we might be able to sort some into like uh something that it's achievable now or semi semi achievable but yes mm. let uh you start first 
since I've been, I mean, I've been starting for for two of two of them in a row. <laughs> yeah, just I just thought of something. <laughs> so, uh, oh, what is that? <laughs> so, uh, after I graduated from high school, yeah, yeah, and mm-hmm. and that's the time that everyone is um trying to choose a course they that they like and they want to do, and then. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened to me. I wanted to do traditional Chinese medicine. But the fact is, okay. I've never seen the <laughs> seen the traditional Chinese uh, medical doctors and and or, or even take the medicine before. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happened to me that I wanted to do that and I think that's is interesting. But after after um giving it some more thoughts I decided not to um, or maybe I'll say that time I find another more interesting thing for me yeah just that not, during that that period of time I really wanted to do that I don't know why <laughs> now that I think that I don't know why mm. okay but now do you still want to do that? Mm. Uh, I'll say no harm learning something new but but that's not the uh, the thing that I die that I want to do. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, okay, understand. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is the first one that I can think of. Okay, maybe you can continue because let me think if there's anything else. I mean, I mean, unrealistic ones. I have a lot. Um, like they are totally unrealistic. Yeah. They are totally unrealistic. Okay, some 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 are like earlier dreams where I just die off. Let me just try to think of reason. I mean, oh my god, going going into space, go. I mean, like that is gonna be a semi achievable dream soon, but going into space is actually one thing. Going on to Mars is another thing. Yeah, because like the 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 space travel thing is getting a semi achievable soon because it 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 would just be a money problem thing. Mm. So yeah. Mm, yeah, that's that's the thing, and then what else? These two are definitely on my list. Um, what are the? I mean, uh, I I I did have this dream of like studying philosophy, but now that I think of it, do I? I I might have to. I'm not sure, but my I I'm I'm not sure if I can just, can just like continue a master's or a a PhD in philosophy, even though. I don't have a bachelor in philosophy. I may have to take a bachelor as well, but actually, this is not that that not achievable. Just that, mm. and actually, this is a part of like semi achievable mm-hmm, yeah. because yeah, it's like quite achievable. Just that, I mean, it's more of a time constraint. Mm. Yeah, it's even you can even put it. It's like it's like a gray area between achievable or semi achievable because currently I'm studying something so. And then I have a lot of things on my hand. Yeah, so it doesn't make sense for me to study another bachelor again. But this is like another dream of mine. Mm. What else? Huh. Yeah, oh my god. This is so bitter, the tea. I think I've, I've left it too long. <laughs> but yeah, I think another one is actually because I I went to Bali and then they they have all these really really nice cliffs, which is like at the seaside. It's so nice. So I thought of like having a house right at the side, on a, like like right on the cliff. Oh my god, that would be so nice. But then like I always put that as like totally unrealistic because at first it's expensive and all that. So. It's okay. You can say it's semi achievable, but it's like very, very far semi achievable. Mm-hmm. So I, I put it into unrealistic. And oh, but 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 in semi semi achievable, there's something that I really want, which is actually buying owning a house that has a like like the the one I've showed you the uh a a full size window mm-hmm. in the kitchen in the wet kitchen. Oh my god, that's like really nice. That's yeah. like semi achievable because it does depends on on having how ho- like houses. Like those getting sold in the market. So, mm. so that's like semi achievable. Uh, uh, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, like, do you think that we get drowned down? Uh, our dreams get drowned down because of reality. That's why now we think that oh, some of them are not really dreams anymore because they're just not achievable. I'm thinking like if, if yeah. there's any, 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 anything that 
I, 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 I decided not to say right now because I think that, yeah, it's not achievable. But in fact, we are talking about un- not achievable stuff. So mm. anything should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and, or maybe maybe um, we've forgotten mm. that because all this one thing is it's impossible. Then. Why, why are we still thinking about it? Mm, yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, okay. Now I think of more semi-achievable ones. Like semi-achievable dream for me would be like literally a, I think a two or three bedroom apartment. A two or three bedroom apartment, and then I'll I'll choose the 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 second <laughs> biggest bedroom as my the the the, the bedroom which I'll be I'll, I'll 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 be sleeping in, and then the master bedroom as the the master bedroom as the workspace. Yeah, cause like I I I oh my god like oh, the 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 one time I saw this video from a Singaporean couple, and then like their mind their 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 train of thought behind this is that. You spend time in your bedroom sleeping. That's why you don't re- don't need such a big room to sleep in it. And then you're not supposed to have other forms of entertainment because a bedroom is supposed for, to give you the best sleep possible. So mm-hmm. yeah, like just have a sufficient size for you to sleep and then your wardrobe and whatever. That's why I'm like, oh my God, this is such a good idea because you'd be spent, especially after COVID, we, we found out that, yeah, we might need a home office and something mm-hmm. like that. So I want to make like the workspace or like even like reading space, whatever, everything integrated into the master bedroom where I'd be working there and then like reading there, something like that. Mm. Or maybe like working in the master bedroom but then reading in the living room and then not having a TV in the living room. I think that would be a cool idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think maybe next time I, I won't have a... I Okay, I may have a projector but then not a TV, maybe. Yeah. Mm. And then like, so yeah. Yeah, I think that my... I, I want to try to make... Make, I'm not sure if having a projector makes you less likely to to watch the TV. I'm not sure. I don't but think so. I just want to make, I want to make the projector as like an option when we want to have Mm-mm. group movies, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when most of the time over there, you'll be reading and stuff, reading like there'll be bookshelves mainly, and all the books are in the living room. Mm-hmm. I think that is like a, a better thing. It will be a, like more of an activity space mm. instead of like just consuming TV and all that. Yeah, like yeah. this is a semi-achievable dream. The the two thing that that stops stops me from doing it is just uh, owning a house and then I guess the money money to renovate it. Yeah. <laughs> ah, unachievable one. I thought it would be easier to talk about like unachievable ones though i mean i think during unachievable ones i just think of more of the achievable dreams and all that yeah just i thought of something then that it i it makes me question myself is it is it (laughs) semi-achievable okay okay let me share share this okay do you want to share it Yeah. yeah 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 it's actually about okay i i think i mentioned this before in i don't know which episode that I used to dream of becoming a doctor for many, many years. That that was my ambition for many, 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 many years. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, but now, the thing is that um, I've already gone into another, another field. And if you want to become a doctor, that's still, that, that is a very long way if you want to go back to zero again. <laughs> Mm. And then another thing is financial, of course. <laughs> the cost of education is mm-hmm. so high. I think it's I, I think it's semi achievable. Yeah, it's, right. It's semi achievable. It's not. It's not unachievable. It's not. Mm. Unachievable. And it's it's not like it's so so hard to be achieved. It's mainly just the money and then maybe the time mm. factor. Yeah. Yeah, just the money and time factor. Yeah, and as you go older, uh, you have lesser energy to do, <laughs> to do all sort of things that you used to do it very easily yeah 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 that that is very true yeah that is very true ah. oh i did have i do have a achievable dream though i think visiting tuvalu but it's not such a huge dream right? it's like it's just a very interesting island in the Mm-mm. pacific ocean yeah after watching that video it's like it's really cool i want to do that an unachievable dream. Why don't I have any man? I thought we are. Oh my god! I think I'm drawn, drawn, been drawn down by reality. Mm. Okay. Yeah, shit, man. 
Huh. I mean, I did. Okay, okay. This is like totally unrealistic. I think this this was when I was like I forgot what years old. I'm not sure. It's okay. It's somewhere like like near the end of my primary school, or like the beginning of my my high school. I actually designed my own country. Country. Yeah, designed a map of it. Yeah, yeah, designed my my own country, and I decided to call it Androclus City. Oh. Androclus City. Maybe it's like. It has the size of like Taiwan, I think. It has the size of Taiwan, something like that. I even made a story out of it where it's like, yeah, I somehow got this island from from Indonesia or something. Yeah, so then I, I made a country out of it. I, yeah, it like I I made different different names for each each areas. Yeah, there's like I City, which is like the main city. Then then there's like I. I history, uh, it's actually quite okay. Now that I think of it, it's, it's a bit stupid. But then I mean, like based on my, but the knowledge I had back then, it's like okay, that's like, I forest, I power, I history, and then like okay, I like things like that is like, uh, I power is basically a a area which like focus on energy generation, and then we have like I what did I talk about? I talk about I city, I power. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else is? Okay, I forgot what else did I talk about. There's the eye ground. Okay, eye ground is is mainly uh uh a piece of so that area is like plains maybe for like for like plantation and all that. Eye history is basically a a conservative a, uh conservative area maybe to to preserve their history. But I have no idea why would would there be any history for a new country? Yeah, I have <laughs> no idea how. Okay, perhaps per, perhaps something that that's like left. For like millions of years, something like that, like maybe fossils or something. So basically, we have like all this area. I I, I named their cities un, under under all this name, yeah. And then there's like there's even like different train system that will be running across the city, like MRT between each each cities. And then there's like H H H S T HST or H, uh, yeah H S T H S T stands for high speed train f- across across multiple cities and all that. So those are the stuff which I'm I'm interested in. That's why. I think before that, I have thought of being an urban designer or like mm, even architect, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those. I I still. I think I'll 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 put studying philosophy above being all those, uh, like being an architect or urban designer. But yeah, like like this, like owning a country, designing this country. Yeah, it was like a. It's actually it's been a dream for me. It's like quite fun, like designing stuff. Yeah, I even kind of design. I just like okay, this actually called I I consider this total storytelling where I just I just created my own story because like back then when I was younger, I I I I designed a company like literally just called KJX Berhard. Yeah, because that time I got to know YTL Berhard and the YTL stands for the name of the founder, like the the first in the the, the, the first letter of of the name of the founder. Yeah, so I, I made one called KJX, but I found it in 2006. That's where the, t- the year I, I, I got to know this and I started designing it. And I, I designed it. I designed townships, how, how, how the town would look like. And the town, the town which I designed, is like, I think it's called like Sungai Lembing 2 or something because it was that age where I actually went to Sungai Lembing. So <laughs> I abstracted the stuff which have that that's exists around me. And I made that. So under the KJX Bahab conglomerate, we own like restaurants, airports, like there's like development as also. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Mainly it was restaurant. Yeah, I think before KJX, I I I designed restaurant. I made a restaurant menu. So there was like, the the restaurant name is called Game Food. I think I was I was I was gonna I I I want I originally named it as Special Food. <laughs> yeah, but then the reason why I don't name it as Special Food anymore is because. I keep spelling special wrong. Oh. Uh-huh. That's why I changed it to Game Food. Yeah. And then I have Game Food 1, Game Food 1, and then I have Game Food 2, Buffet. So Game Food 2, Buffet, Buffet, Buffet style restaurant. Then there's like Game Food 3, Takeaway. And then there's like Game Food 4, Mini Market. Game Food 5 is Organic Market because Organic Mini Market, something like that. Because that was the, 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 the time where I, yeah, when I went to my, my, my grandma's place, that's, she, we, but because she's a vegetarian, so we always, we usually go to this organic marketplace, 
oh yeah we just go there and eat and then buy buy some vegetable because like usually in malaysia when, when there's like organic markets they're usually offering vegetarian stuff so so i do that and then there's like okay f- because I, I i i put letters right so for number six i made it i i i I made it a mall. I call it North Six Mall. Yeah, so North Six Mall Seven. I forgot. I forgot what it was like Game Food Seven, but I, I remember all the way until Nine. Number Nine is actually a Kopitiam. The 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 menu still exists, but for Game Food One, the whole menu is gone. I have no idea where is it. But then, yeah, like, yeah, this is like a a dream that I had, man. A dream I had. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now I don't have much dream. Back then, I have so many dreams. I think reality just crushed me down. It sounds so sad. But yeah, like, the, the interesting part about all this, like, because, like, grain food, all this, like, restaurants or mini market, there's, like, branches, right? Branches around the, pl- mm-hmm. like, countries or whatever. So, yeah, it's it's a very stupid thing. So, like, the branch, the location of the branch are usually the places which I've went to or, like, I suddenly got to know them. <laughs> but it started with, like, like, like the address of my house, address of my grandpa, grandma's house. Yeah, my, my the address of, of my grandparents' house. Yeah, address of, like, a new place which I went to, like, Kuantan. Suddenly, yeah, it was there. Sungai Lembing, it was there. Yeah, like, even Kepong, uh, something like that. Like, just places I know because, like, you're young. Whatever you know, you just put yeah. it in there. Something like that. It's like, yeah, it's it's quite funny when I when I look back at it. That, that paper is, like, gone as well. I just barely remember something. Yeah, I'm very KJX, impressed. Air. Yeah, I mean, I mean that that's that's the thing I I I I, <laughs> I like about myself, and then I am proud about myself because I now thinking back of this, I knew how creative I was. Yeah, it's very very how, creative. How dare to dream I was? How dare to dream I was? So I I'm trying to find that part back in me. Yeah, I knew there's something of that. In it. I I know that I, I designed a few a few. Cause I, uh, I mean, I went. My 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 dad liked to invest in properties, and then we went to look at showrooms and all that. So, I have, I I'm interested in that. So that's kind of what made me want to become a property developer, like architect and all that. So I drew floor plans and all that, and then I even designed. I think at least two two development. One is called triangle because uh, it's just a very simple. <laughs> the whole building is like a, a triangle shape. So. Imagine inside a triangle, you can split it into four different triangles. Can you can you understand that? So you can, okay. It's a, is it called equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle, three sides is the same, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So basically, that, and then inside equilateral triangle, you can fit four equilateral triangle, right? Of the same size. Hmm. Mm. So, three of three of those equilateral triangle facing facing the corners. Those will be like, like each unit. So there will be three units in in uh at at one floor, and then the 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 the, the middle space will be like the lift or whatever like, So like the common area something like that. So like, that's one of it. And then another, I just designed the club. Also, like this is basically what I've done when I was younger. Like yeah, designing. Yeah, dude. That time I was like I I priced those houses like a like, million. Yeah, one million. <laughs> like, that time was like I mean like yeah it was funny unrealistic but then now it, it makes sense you know now it makes sense <laughs> but yeah I think when I was towards I think when I was like standard 5 standard 6 wait was it that or even I think yeah that I thought of starting a a mobile phone brand <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I literally start, thought of starting a mobile phone brand that's where the EGZ... Have I told you about this before? I think you told me before. I, I think you showed me something... Yeah, I think some, some, somewhat, something right? Something about that. Like you draw something, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I did I bring that shit? I Oh my god, did I left all those documents in Malaysia? Well, those are my precious documents. I think I left those in Malaysia. So, yeah, um, I, I thought of starting a brand because like Apple, Apple, like Apple... It's like from fruit. I'm not gonna do another fruit thing, but I I I thought of like doing like something similar. <laughs> so I thought of like doing a egg brand, like egg brand. It started with E G G Z, but then I just made it simpler and make made it E G Z. So E G Z is like the, the 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 brand, and then it will be running a separate operating system called 
Kagu, K A G O O. I have no idea how I how how I came up with this name. I have no idea. Yeah, Kagu is like a a multi-platform operating system. It runs on, <laughs> it runs it runs on like laptop, like Windows, mobile phones, or tablet. Everything. Watch you as long as you can name it, it it works on it. So it's like the one single operating system that 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 works on everything. So yeah, I even okay. The the notebook is still at my house. So if you look at it, I actually designed many versions of of Kagu OS, like Kagu one point oh, Kagu seven, because like that's I think that's a, at the at the age where I learned about the history of Windows. It's like Windows one point oh, two point oh, three point oh. Then like there's like ninety five, ninety eight, two thousand, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and all this. So I kind of just like designed a similar thing. Yeah, I even like made like future releases. Like, oh, it's gonna <laughs> launch in like two thousand fifteen, and then suddenly in two thousand fifteen, I look at it. Oh wait, like, oh my god, I drew this so long time ago that now it's already been released. Then I I I rub it out, I updated something like that. Oh, it's already released something like that. <laughs> yeah, I designed laptop, but but uh yeah, I I designed phone, but then I realized you know because I I wanted to make it a full ecosystem like Apple, so I it kind of designed EGZ have sell sells not just phones like tablets, laptop and everything, but I realized that. My passion is still in phones because I I can think of different phone designs, but then when it comes to like tablets and laptops, I can hardly think of any special designs. I can hardly design it. Yeah, so the phones are a bit optimistic. It started, but I I I I would say that I I I foresaw a few technology advancement, but of course I don't know how to implement them. It's just like totally designed. Uh, I think. I I thought of under screen. Uh, I thought of like like punch hole cameras. So 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 like 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 what 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 I have on my Pixel right now. Mm-hmm. Like like a, a like a camera directly in the middle of a screen. I thought of that before. Uh, but but the one thing I I I didn't know why they didn't do is like why not just let me like just like tap on the t- tap on the camera like to get into like selfie mode or something like why not like since it's there like you have the screen around it like you can tap into go into that, and then I thought of. I thought of like having a button, button in the middle of the screen, so like there's fingerprint scanner and all that. At one point, there's no more button anymore. It's like in in display, uh, fingerprint scanner, and then there's even one at one point like the the screen. Now at one point, like there is like four cameras around the screen, because those camera are not just cameras anymore. They are projections as well they are projectors yeah. as well so what it does is that you can place it over on, on on a surface or something and then it will project on top mm-hmm. yeah so like it it, it works out but uh well the thing is i have no idea how the 3d project projection technology works that's like just literally uh, imagination out of my head so like, that's how and then that there might be further improvement there there's like eight like one two three four at the corner and then like another one at, at, at four four middle points of all that so to increase the, the projection and all that then there's phone with like full rear rear screen so that you can actually customize the, the design mm-hmm. of the phone because like the screen will be running all time long and then even using the back screen as like a a camera and then like uh, a design which is implemented by Xiaomi Alpha so the phone is like fully wrapped uh, it's a screen wrap technology so fully it's all screen so yeah like at the side even the side buttons are all screen all screen like that like you can customize whatever button you want all that and then I thought of like even more advanced where we go to the stage where where f- we don't really run phones anymore we don't really use phones anymore because the thing is that actually today um why are we using phone instead of computer is that phone is portable Mm. we are using phone because it's portable we can like use apps off it it's like so portable so we don't we don't use our pc everywhere Mm. we don't like bring our laptop everywhere and then call with our laptop because it's not that portable but if we can make the phone into a smaller form factor, we will still need a phone because it might be the best interaction we have to call people. But we don't need all the things on a phone. Like today, you can you can actually run your run a PC off a phone. Do you know that? So like, um, okay, you can plug your you can plug your phone into a a monitor screen and then you can use use 
use that like a like a PC. So it it's like offered in oh. by Samsung or like Xiaomi a few a few something. Like that. So basically, you're running off your phone, and then just that you need a bigger display mm-hmm. because it's like using a bigger display is a better representative of your workspace instead of your phone. Mm-hmm. That's why you need a a a, be- a bigger monitor. But calling everything, we still need a a phone size representation of of uh to 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 call people mm-hmm. or like to scroll Instagram or whatever. But then if we can minimize all the hardware of a phone into something smaller, like a watch, we will just need to our phone is just like a monitor. Mm. Can you imagine that? So we're just like bringing a com- a portable monitor around, mm-hmm. but then in fact, everything is just on your watch. Mm-hmm. You you can bring you can like throw away this monitor, get another monitor, and then like use it as long as there's enough battery power and enough enough performance on this watch. Mm-hmm. So I thought about that. Yeah, uh, at one point maybe in the future, you just need a watch where it's so powerful that uh, when you need to call, everything shows up on your f- on your mobile phone display. When you need to work. Everything shows up on your monitor, but everything is running on your watch because like every memory mm. is here. So like every file is here or whatever. And then when you're home, when you're on a watch TV, the your 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 watch just connects onto your TV and then you view the content of your watch off your TV. Mm-hmm. Everything like that. Or even even something that's even more advanced and decentralized. So uh whatever you have is just in your house. It's stored directly in your house for safety or whatever reason Mm -hmm. and then it's broadcast onto your watch onto your phone wherever you want wherever in the world you want because true internet connection kind of like remote desktop something like that so that's like what I've thought of yeah Yeah. okay a bit bit too long about my dreams okay uh, all all this kind of I think this can be even be dated back as 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 late as my first year of university yeah The the, oh. the one thing I'm glad I did, I kind of realized that how important these things are. So I think I think maybe, okay, maybe like the, the final year when I, when I was taking my IGs around that, when I have all these impressive ideas, mm. at, le- at, at least I, I think that's impressive. Yeah, I think it's impressive. I would just like, I wrote it down on a, on, on a piece of paper. I, I, I note down the date and then my name there and then I'll just like start writing the concept or whatever, drew some diagrams about it. Mm. Yeah. And then, like, put it into a file. That's why the file is still in my house. Yeah, mm. That's something that I have to do. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, it, 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 if it happens that one day I, 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 want to, I want to implement them, like, yeah, why not? I yeah, can just, yeah. like, take one out and then do it. But then, uh, if it not, I think it's just quite cool to, like, just look back and, and see mm. what have, I've thought of. Yeah. Like, like all, your, mm. all your previous thoughts about everything. Yeah, I guess that's why I I started Ink Thoughts as well. Like like literally, okay, it's so relevant. Okay, that's why I I, I like this Ink Thoughts name because I do think that my my thoughts are in because in Congress doesn't mean it's bad. It's just that it's unusual. It's mm. not con. It's like not. It doesn't fit into the norm. That's why I love in, this word in Congress. So I wanted to keep this word and then yeah, we're using like Ink Thoughts, like where we just share like things where we which are unusual. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I still remember you say you want to save the name for a future company. I I mean I mean it's not taken yet, you know. Well, okay, I'm just gonna share it here. Hopefully, no one steals the name. But <laughs> Ink Tots, Ink Tots is the name of this podcast. But my company, I'm gonna call it I N C T O T because it's like a short form for In Congress Tots, like a full short form for In Congress Tots. So it'd be like In Tots. Ink Tot Limited, something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who knows? Like, if if it if it happens, okay. I hope, like, I really hope that no one steals this name. But I'm gonna, okay. It's fine. Like, it's part of the journey. If it, it if it happens, I'll just think of another name. Like, if it happens that I'm gonna register a company for maybe my YouTube or whatever, and I'm gonna like include this Ink Tots podcast under the portfolio of it. Yeah, I, I may I may just call 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 my company Ink Tot instead of like Ali Abdel calling his company like, Ali Abdel. <laughs> Private limited something and like, I mean, okay, this I I okay. It's bad to judge people, but I do think that yeah, he should have find some more creative names. You know, I don't really think that is a good name. You know, <laughs> that's why I I won't call my company like Andrew Kwan. I just call it like, yeah, Ink Tot. Mm-hmm. That's something I'll do. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, like, like these are all the dreams I had. Uh, I mean, they're... Okay, most of them are... I'll consider them unachievable because they are just imagination and dream. I never studied into them, but they can turn into semi, semi-achievable if I study yeah. more in depth. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like anything you want to share about? Anything you thought of? Mm. Seriously. I... Like, 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 don't you have like dreams or something when you're younger? Yeah, like... Similar to mine. Like, after you, you tell everything like this, I actually ask myself if I have anything in the past. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just a bit when you, when you um, share about the, the KJX Verhat thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I ask myself... There's, what, there's what, even what? one point in time... It, it, oh, sorry, what, what were you saying? No, I, I, I question myself, what was I doing when I was six years old? <laughs> okay, okay. Like I think in my first 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 year of high school I was like I was very interested in all these trains and stuff. So I actually drew up a map creating my own city with like underground MRT lines and all that, calling e- giving names for each station, something like that. And then I don't know why at that point I was so interested. I I was interested in like Wi-Fi technology and all that. So I was like giving I at that time I was still using the Kagu, but then Kagu is like kind of transitioned into like a Wi-Fi technology ish. So there's like Kagu one, Kagu two, Kagu three. Like kind of represents the internet technology, mm. something like that. Yeah. Do I really not? Did I really not bring anything here? That's like representative of my past. Yeah, I actually didn't. That is a bit sad. I should have. My god, now that I think of it, man, I just really want to flip a few pages and then just have a look at what I've thought of. But if I do go back to Malaysia, I'm going to bring those back here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those worth nothing if I sell it into a market. But then they, they, I would say that they're worth everything if I look into it. I can spend a full day looking at that and tell you about every single history about that. Which part in my life did I write this? What inspired me to write this? Yeah. Yeah. You, I can't really do that. You did that before, you remember? <laughs> when, 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 when is it? I think this year when I was at your house, then I don't know, you suddenly take this out and then you started. Yeah. 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 So cool. Oh my god. I mean, I mean, that's, that's another thing is that if I get to take action onto those that would be cool as well ah mm. uh, i can't really i can't actually write write a story about all this i mean i i just like kind of imagine like the kjx perhaps thing mm-hmm. i can't make it into a fiction story and then just like write it into a fiction story mm-hmm. yeah. yeah i think that's actually possible but then like <laughs> yeah maybe not now I, I i would love to, if i have the time and the money i would love to find a a, a writing coach which is like train me how to write mm. uh fiction and not fiction stuff and then yeah who knows i can like produce a story mm-hmm. yeah mm, okay cool cool so what's the time now actually oh yeah it's actually 10 49 uh, 39 so yeah do you have anything i think i i i think yeah these these are my like main dreams and stuff i mean like yeah recently i don't know why i don't have any more unrealistic dreams because maybe they are unrealistic and it just kind of when you think of them being unrealistic you just stop thinking about it yeah yeah i think now 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 when whenever i have dreams it's more towards like semi-achievable instead of like totally unrealistic ones mm. yeah. well actually i I so like we are, we're kind of affected of, by reality a bit. I can't think of any unrealistic of any. dream, but but um, just now I thought of something. But I think it's semi achievable. It's not, uh, it's not unachievable. It's just what uh, uh, after after the foundation year, I went to I went for a, a course on Japanese, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then since then, that I actually have a thought of like being a translator as my career. Last time, last time. <laughs> oh, that works. That works. Yeah, I think it's a semi achievable. Yeah, right. Yeah, just that. Just that. First thing is, I, I'm I'm still not very good at Japanese, but uh, learning more and spending more time that that will be solved. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and then like finding a job is just of the matter of finding a job. Yeah, you can start. You can start off as a freelancer or anything. <laughs> then slowly build up and yeah. <laughs> mm. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, ah, and also to to learn many more like different languages, but then that takes a lot of effort and time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think at most, most, most streamers are semi-achievable. But if we talk about fifty, fifty percent, of course, like definitely, that's less, less of them that are fifty, fifty percent. Some of them might be like ten, ten percent is like mm. already achieved. Ninety percent is like not achieved yet. That's why it's like a bit. It's still semi-achievable, but it just takes more time to complete those those that are semi that they are not achieved yet. Yeah, or maybe but, along yeah, the path, okay. it th- there's more difficulties that you, that you need to face and to solve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, but yeah, like we unknowingly talked about one hour. I mean, like one hour thirty minutes. But I knew minus the time where I go to the toilet, which is at least five minutes, I think. <laughs> but yeah, quite cool, quite cool, quite a cool conversation. Uh, should we just like wrap it up here? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, actually, that's not that because like, we're not talking about discussing about something. We're just sharing our dreams and ambition. But yeah, I think as we grow older, I guess at least for me, I uh it. Like our dreams and actually those are imaginations or dreams, imagination or dreams. But yeah, we just kind of get get <laughs> we just kind of get drowned 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 off by by reality. So whatever we're thinking now is like still semi achievable. We don't go and think about wild dreams like building in in Mars or like traveling to another galaxy, something like that. Yeah. We. Well, whatever we're thinking of still still retain some kind of uh, reality because like traveling to Mars seems possible mm. because Elon Musk has the plan for that something like that so it's not it's not just like fantasy anymore I don't, we, we, it's hard for me at least to think about fantasy fa- uh, fantasy dreams yeah something most of the things I dream about is like more realistic compared to when I was younger mm-hmm. yeah yeah, but, but sometimes yeah. I, I do I, I really like how creative you you are. I I'm really not a mm-hmm. cre- very creative person which yeah. <laughs> mm. I mean that's a way I believe that's a way to be mm. Let's sign up for creative workshop. Learn to be creative. <laughs> Is there any? <laughs> that's definitely a way. Yeah. What? Is there any creative workshop? There is that definitely mm. is. There, 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 there's definitely a creative workshop. It doesn't make you creative, but it teaches you the ways to be more creative. Mm-mm. Uh, to 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 find the creativity to, to bring in more creativity, something like that. But mm. if you, but if you explore more, like like what we talked about previously, you gain more experience. Mm. You become more creative because like 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 what what the. The imagination and child, the the child, my childhood imagination have have told me, yeah, whatever I'm doing is just whatever that I am, I I I got to know at that mm. point in time. Like <laughs> YTL, KJX, organic mini market, all the locations I've been to, been to, yeah, all the all the restaurants I've seen, all that I just pulled them in and then just recreated something, Mm-mm. yeah. Com- with a combination of different things so yeah as we are explored more yeah we'll just like gain more things <laughs> which mm. is like be more creative you you make me think of one thing next time when i what is it? Uh, when i have have children uh i hope i can get get te- get them to expose to many different kind of stuff yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to, and I want my children to, to think of the things I taught mm. before. I would love to share about my, my things, and yeah. But I, I just hope that I won't be those parents where suddenly when we are mad or we are like upset about things, that we just unknowingly say that. Can you just be like more realistic or this impossible mm, or something mm, like mm. that? Sometimes we unknowingly say that because yeah. we are too affected by, by, by realism, reality, and all this, mm. all this. Yeah, but then I, I do hope that he, my children dreams about all this stuff and then actually tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know. I hope to have the I hope to have the time the the time uh, to 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 maybe not really achieve them, but but then like spend time to to realize some of it. Mm-mm-mm. Like who knows like 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 yeah, like I don't know do things that he wants to do. It's like prototyping stuff. So like 
I know it's it's definitely hard to 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 fly to Mars, but then like if I can make a rocket model with him or something, that mm-hmm. would be cool enough. So whatever yeah. he wants to do, I would really like to spend time doing that with yeah. him. Like just like things can be hard to achieve, but they are never impossible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's never impossible. Worst comes to worst, it takes a few generations to be achieved. But whatever you're doing today for that dream is the groundwork for the next generation to achieve the dream that you want to achieve. Mm-hmm. Like, let's say, like, fly off to a different galaxy, something like that. Mm-hmm. You can still have that dream, but you won't be able to be, you may not be able to be the one to fly off to a different galaxy. But if you learn how to do it today, your future generation would be able to go to space because of you. I mean, go to the other galaxy because of you, something like that. Yeah. Oh my god, this is like, I feel so inspired by myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, one day, man, I, I, I really want to do this. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. Whew, I mean, yeah, I really love that, that, those pages which I've kept. Looking at those pages, I, I feel happy. I, I, I. I don't know. I, I, I can felt the happiness I, I, I'm at when I was like writing those pages. I was like drawing those up. I should really find those stuff and then and then post it up. Post and then it. Like, maybe she can just share it in a YouTube video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should I, I ask think... my parents to ship it over here? What? Pardon? Yeah, I think I think if you, you, you share it in the YouTube video, maybe it, it's quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it's so far away. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll ask you to go to my house and then like just pack those up and then maybe DHL over here. <laughs> 100, 100, 200 ringgit's fine. It's fine. 100, 200 ringgit's fine. It's, it's, it's so important to me that yeah, 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 yeah. those are small money. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> I, can, I can literally make a, an hour video rambling about one of those books. I literally can do that. <laughs> yeah. Then, then you have have a own. very long video to edit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Oh, 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 oh. But yeah, uh, what was it? Uh, just now when, when you talk about like parenting thoughts, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wish in the future I, I'll never say that. Mm, my children do something because they're busybody. <laughs> like how my parents told me. Yes, yeah. Okay. I, 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 I mean, I mean, uh, okay, we won't, we shouldn't judge them. They could be busybody. They still could be busybody. We need to ask them like, oh, why did you do this? Like, just understand. One of their reasons can be busybody. <laughs> it's normal. It's normal to be busybody. But we don't just straight out judge them saying that they are doing this because of this reason. Mm. We should ask them. Yeah, like understand why is it? And then, like, yeah, it could be busy body. Like it's normal at one point. Like, yeah, it can be because of busy body. I was like, okay. I mean, like as long as it doesn't affect too many people, something like that, then it's fine to be busy body. But yeah, it's not the best thing, best reason that you have something like that. I'll say. But yeah, even until now, when when I share about my job, yeah, sometimes not all the times. Uh, nowadays is uh. A lot lesser. Sometimes when uh, it comes to a point that they will say, they will say, yeah, I, because I like to do stuff that are busy for me. Okay, that is bad. <laughs> okay, let's just not do that. Let's just not do that. Mm-hmm. Let's just not do that. Maybe, maybe they are just like okay. kidding or anything, mm-hmm. but for me, it means a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I understand. Because like, yeah, like, like, yeah, it kind of, you it, you feel like you, why can't you just like recognize this mm. thing that I'm doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. Okay, so yes. Uh, do you have any insights that you want to share? Mm. No, I I don't have anything in particular. Yeah. Okay, I guess I, I don't actually... I mean, I, I had something, but I forgot. It happens all the time. I don't write it down. I don't have the, <laughs> I don't have the habit of writing it down onto a notion, even though we, we like made a, made a section yeah. for it. Yeah, never really used that. <laughs> but uh, I mean, let's just like use to whatever we have talked about today in, in the inside. So, I mean, just be creative. And then 
many things are achievable or mm. semi-achievable. Mm. If it's important enough, just do it. Okay, this remind me of something. I I really hope that you can do do whatever you have said just now, like 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 the the the, the trip with with, mm-hmm. with 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 the girls. Okay, sure. <laughs> like one week, one week, not really a trip lah. One 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 week Airbnb thing with your uh, with, with 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 your with your with your girls, and then like just do it before the end of this year. It'll be really cool. And then be sure to post a be sure to post a Instagram photo, and then have a long passage of why you did it. I don't know. I I, I would like to I would like to see you doing. <laughs> I think I don't know. It's 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 like the biggest thing I've seen you done. If if you have done that, yeah, it's like the biggest thing. And then you thought of it and everything. You you created this whole thing. I would. It's so cool if you you can do that. Like just take a uh, like a picture of three of you and then you just like post a long passage about it. And then yeah, I don't know. I I would I uh, we can we can even talk about this in one of our YouTube videos. We just share about like something doing doing things that are incongruous. I think. In Congress, we can like talk about topping something like this. Yeah, it, it's really cool. I just hope that I hope hope that it happened before the end of this year. But but like next year, I understand there's like time constraint. But next year is fine. But then if it can happen like end of this year, it's like so cool. Yeah. And then yeah, I really hope to look forward to that Instagram picture. And then with your oral explanation, yeah, I think you garner a lot of a lot of uh likes. And then for people who read it, they will uh you you uh how do I say it? You actually wow them because mm. I think most people that know you wouldn't think that you'll be this kind of person. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, people may judge that, oh my god, you guys are like why are you guys wasting all this money for this? But then I can understand this is like like and one thing is society is shifting and then another thing that every everybody values different things. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, this is a one important thing. Uh, I mean for me and Z and all them, would I do this? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I I I know them quite well, and then we okay we are friends. Our our our, our personality doesn't match in certain parts where so it mm-hmm. might not fit if we like mm-hmm. live together. <laughs> but then like going on a trip on climate, that's like fine. But then like yeah, but yours that I think that works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you should you should do that. You should do that. Oh my god, that's so cool. So I I mean like uh yeah. So many dreams are like semi achievable or achievable. Just it's just. A, whether you want to do it or not and it's okay to think about unrealistic stuff be creative and all that like what i said just now in the beginning being unrealistic it's fine because nothing is all the real stuff is unrealistic at one point in time you can be the one that that make it real so and you might not make it real in your lifetime but then just work on it if it's important enough just work on it maybe the next few generation can do it because of you so mm. you are still contributing to to part of it, and who knows, like, if there's like reincarnation and all that, you could be the one doing the actual thing generations later. So, yeah, yeah, that's 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 something. But uh, yes, I think uh, that will be it for this episode of the podcast. It's like so long; it's like at least one hour thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, after I cut cut like the the period where I went to the toilet. So. Yeah, I think that's it then. Uh, so thanks everyone for listening to this long and rambly episode of me, mainly me talking about my my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks everyone for listening and hope to see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the podcast. If you enjoyed, do share with your friends and family and leave us a review on the Apple Podcast. If you're not using an Apple device, you can leave a review on the Apple Podcast website with the link in the show notes. If you have any feedback or thoughts which you hope that we'll discuss in the future, feel free to email them to us at hello at ingthoughts.com or alternatively, you can send us a private message on our Facebook, Instagram or Twitter with the username of ingthoughtsport. Thanks again and see you all next week. Bye-bye. Alright, yeah. Oh my god, that is so long. But then like, okay, there's one small thing which I'm a bit upset about because I've been, I'm actually quite excited. I'm actually quite, okay. Uh, f- okay, we need to end this quite soon. I'm gonna have a meeting with my supervisor in like five minutes, but it's fine. Oh, okay. Five minutes is fine. Uh, still quite some time. But then, one thing I'm a bit disappointed is because, okay, not disappointed, like just that, I you know I, I am, I I okay. What's what's it? How to describe that? Okay, never mind. So, I I received the email saying that my 
my Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is, is like coming soon. So yeah, I'm just like very excited and then hoping that I'll get emails regarding the delivery information they, and I didn't receive it today. So hopefully I receive it tomorrow. Who knows? Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's a, just a small thing which I'm like semi, semi disappointed but it's not that disappointing like just that yeah you know you want something mm-hmm. like, oh. <laughs> anything you want to talk about before we end, end this podcast for real <laughs> uh, nothing special just uh, just, uh, just uh, when you're sharing the very long story <laughs> to the end I'm so tired <laughs> yeah yeah I, understand, I can understand I can understand yeah it's the way that, that you sleep like, like, yeah, yeah it's not not your fault because I'm just sharing and then not everyone need to find it interesting. Uh, yeah. Well, it is interesting for me, but but um, because I'm yeah. just sitting there and listening, so so that thing makes uh, me yeah. feel tired. And and then I understand like even even something is inter- something that's interesting. Some parts of it can be not that interesting as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 something like that. No, not saying that you didn't find it interesting, but then like, just a general thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we'll end here then. Okay. Okay. Okay.